Hey guys, Empyrean here. So, as most of you know, I will be playing Classic WoW starting on the 27th of August. So, in this video, I thought I will tell you about the history that I have with this game and why I'm excited to play it. So, World of Warcraft was not my first MMO. I started playing Guild Wars 1 years before that and I PvP'd in that game for thousands and thousands of hours. But I've slowly started to become bored with the game and we just broke up with my girlfriend of one and a half years at the time so I needed a new game to sink my time into and forget so that game ended up being World of Warcraft the year is 2009 Hungary which means paying for a subscription every month for a game is completely out of the question so me and my friends uh, decided to roll on a Hungarian private server which was pretty much an expansion behind live servers uh, and at the time it was hosting the Burning Crusade. I started a Drain Eye Mage and I got completely immersed in the game. I loved the music, the environment, the character progression, pretty much everything about it. And uh, it took me weeks to level to 70, but I had an amazing time. I loved unlocking you know, new talents, new skills. Um, it was very different from how Guild Wars handled this stuff. And uh, yeah, it just felt really good. Me and my friends uh, joined the raiding guild um, and we raided all throughout the TBC content. The guild pretty much had uh, most things on farm at this point. Um, we raided through Karazhan, SSC, Tempest Keep, Hyjal and the Black Temple and around this time the guild needed more tanks so I decided to roll a tank droid which was the first time I've used the name Empyrean and I stuck to it ever since. I tanked through most of Sunwell and some of the earlier farm raids and I PvP'd on my Feral Druid in arenas farming all the brutal gladiator gear and uh, having fun in battlegrounds. A few months later the server released Wrath, the Wrath of the Lich King expansion and we planned to make our own 10 man progress group within the guild to blast our way through Nax and uh, we did. It was the first time that we tackled new content even though Nax was out in vanilla but I never played that. Uh, that nobody in the group has seen before and having to figure out strategies and you know how we do the bosses where to pull who does what uh, felt really rewarding that was the first time that we experienced progression rating and it felt amazing the problem was the server was kind of behind their schedule that they wanted to do and so the only content in the game was nax and then they were working on ulduar so that you know people can get to it and um they weren't ready. They weren't ready with it, and a lot of people were complaining that, you know, there's only Nax and where is Ulduar. So what the server management did is that they started pushing out Ulduar two boss at a time. And that completely killed our group's uh, enthusiasm for raiding. Um, they pushed out the first two bosses of Ulduar, we went in, we killed them, and then we were like, alright, what now? It's gonna be weeks before they release another two bosses, and yeah, we just lost all motivation and kind of uh, quit right then and there. At this point I was going to university studying English major and I had some side student jobs, you know, so I started to accumulate some money and we figured why not try the real servers, why not try the real thing? So we rolled on retail World of Warcraft. The expansion at the time was Cataclysm and Firelands has just released, which looked like a really cool raid. So we leveled characters and we planned on making our own 10-man raiding guild and progressing through Firelands, chasing that 10-man friendly group progression type attitude or uh, atmosphere that we uh, experienced during the, the next progression on the private server. So that was our plan. I leveled a Trank Druid, which was pretty much my go-to main now, uh, Empyrean. And uh, I tanked through Firelands and then the early parts of Dragon Soul. We, uh, we did, I think, three or four heroic bosses on Firelands before Dragon Soul came out. Uh, Firelands was a lot of fun. We, uh, you know, it was, it was pretty much the same feeling of a group of friends progressing through, you know, new and new bosses, figuring out the strategies. Um, well, not really figuring it out, as in, you know, there was guides at this point, but still, we had to make those strategies work for our, our group and so on. So that was, uh, that was really fun. 
and then Dragon Soul was not as fun. Uh, it was still a, still an okay time, but by the time we got to I think Heroic Ultraxian, which is like the fifth boss, um, we kind of got burned out and we stopped progressing and we pretty much quit the game again. Fast forward a few months, um, it's Mist of Pandaria towards the end and Siege of Ogrimmar is about to launch. We hear good things about Throne of Thunder, so we decide to troll again and we joined the 25 man raiding guild and met some very cool people there that I ended up raiding with in uh, Wildstar and a little bit through Warlords of Draenor as well, but we'll get there. So we rolled to raid Siege of Ogrimmar, uh, which was a really fun raid for the first time and maybe the second time, but it got old pretty quick and uh, farming it was not as much fun as progressing on it for the first time, of course. But some of my favorite bosses that I raided in WoW were in Siege of Ogrimmar. I think Thok, the Bloodthirsty, the dinosaur boss, was really, really fun to do. And um, Siegecrafter, heroic progression, was also pretty fun. It took us, I think, over 150 attempts to kill it, which was the most attempts that I've ever been a part of any guild to do a boss. And it was really satisfying to finally get the kill. Come on! Yeah. Yes! yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's where we stopped progressing. We didn't stop progressing on the boss following Siegecrafter, Plaxi, or Paragons of the Plaxi, I think it was. So that's when the, that, that guild called it quits. Fast forward another few months, uh, Warlords of Draenor is releasing. At this point I've already been streaming Diablo 3 Season 1, but Season 1 took a long time to finish. And then Warlords of Draenor was just about to release, so I was ready to jump in and uh, join a, a mythic raiding guild that some people that I met in Wildstar before I started streaming Diablo 3 uh, were gonna go and raid in. So we raided, you know, normal and heroic, we cleared it on the first weeks, and then as just about we were starting to raid mythic, Three people from the guild had some real life stuff come up and they couldn't continue and they were pretty important to the guild so we all collectively decided to call it quits. Season 2 Diablo 3 was coming up so I couldn't really dedicate too much more time to the game so that's pretty much the last time I've played World of Warcraft. Which puts me at a very peculiar position. I've played this game a lot and I have that itch again to play again. I haven't played in the last two expansions at all. And I've only played at the start of Warlords of Draenor. And I haven't played Classic or Vanilla at all. So there is this new version, or old version, new version of this game coming out that I'm really excited to play because I haven't got to experience it. And I've heard really good things about it, you know, grindy, character progression, all those things that are positives for me in the games. For some people, you know, if it's really grindy and slow, it's a negative. For me, that's a positive. That means I can sit down and be excited and, and be motivated to grind and get to the next level, get to the next gear upgrade, you know. Uh, all that stuff with com that comes with that uh, is like really appealing to me. So, uh, and I haven't touched the game in years, so I kind of miss it. So we're going to be playing Classic WoW on the 27th of August. And we're going to be playing on an EU PvP run, uh, Shazra. We are going to have our own guild. It's not going to be a streamer guild. This guild is not about me. This is not, you know... Of course, there's a lot of people from my community. And I've met, you know, some really cool people in the last few years of playing games and streaming games. And uh, a lot of those people are going to be in the guild. But this is not a... This is not an invite to Asmongold Layer streamer guild. Uh, we're just going to have... A classic World of Warcraft experience, playing at our own pace, progressing at our own pace, not going world first, anything like that. We're just gonna experience the game as it is uh, with my community of awesome people. So uh, I'm really, really looking forward to that. If you wanna join us, just uh, shoot me a private message on Discord and I can invite you to the guild Discord. Uh, if I'm busy, I will send you to one of my friends who are also, you know, handling this stuff. There will be room for socials in the guild, of course, if you don't have the time to raid or whatever and you just want to hang out in the community, that's completely fine. And then once we reach, you know, 
max level and we start doing proper dungeons and raids, we'll uh, figure out like a system where we can recruit. But for now, pretty much anyone can join the Discord and then we'll figure that stuff out as we go. So yeah, I am absolutely pumped to play WoW again. Um, I've had the privilege to play pretty much whatever game I wanted for the last few years of, uh, of streaming. After I switched to Path of Exile from Diablo 3, um, I've played Path of Exile for a month or two and then um, did variety for the other month. And it's been incredibly rewarding to be able to play what I want to play when I want to play it. And you guys have given me that freedom and I want to thank you very much for that. And I am going to exercise that freedom and play Classic WoW because I really, really want to. So, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you on the server. Bye. Put Buddha monks in your trunk, turn the base up. Not stories by Aesop. Place your loot up, parties are shoot up. Now nah, I analyze, drop a jewel. Inhale from the L, school of full well. You feel it like Grell, it ain't hard to tell. I kick a skill like Shaquille, holds a pill. Vocabulary spills, I'm ill. Plus, Matic, I freak beat, slam it like Iron Sheep. Bit comfortable in the chair. Comfortable. Five, four, three, two, this one, one.